I don't want to be on camera. I am mortally terrified of saying something inappropriate, and we may have to edit some of my remarks. <laughs> By the way, we would like to thank the Yachto Project for providing sponsorship money for this. This made sure that we would not lose our shirts. Uh, we, we didn't lose our shirts, so we're really happy with everyone who came and everyone who paid a little bit extra to help support our continuing operations, because um, we would certainly like to do more of these things. And you know, after we're done, you know, please give us feedback. And what I mean, us, there, um, Open Embedded has a board that basically runs the. Uh, we do the day-to-day -day admin stuff, uh, speak to the Octo Project in semi-official capacity. Um, and the board members here are Jan Simone, who's waving his hands in the air, and John Mason, who has that charming shirt. And turn around, John. We can all lightly clap arm for sponsoring shirts at the last development meeting. Um, so this is going to be a brief introduction. I've got some more slides at the end um, where I'll talk a little bit more about Open Embedded, the Octo Project, and where we think we should go, or have you tell us where you think we should go. Um, my first FOSDEM was 2007. And that was the first FOSDEM that Open Embedded showed up at as a table. Um, so we had a table. In H building. In H building, yes. And Martin was here. Is that, how do you pronounce your name? Marchin. Marchin, yes. Yeah. See, I've never known how to pronounce his name because it's always spelled H R W. Um, so he was here in 2007 at the table. Is anyone else here in 2007? Okay. You weren't on it. So, you know, Open Embedded has a long history in Brussels, and uh, I'm sure some of you have heard me tell the story of the founding of the Open Embedded EV in, two th in 2008. Eight. Yes. I wasn't there, so eight. Yeah, you weren't there, and it was in the Chi Chi's. Yes. Which now is Burger King. Is now a Burger King. So we've been watching the Chi Chi's, <laughs> and the Chi Chi's survived long after the chain collapsed from uh, food poisoning in the U.S. And then it got knocked down last year. So there's been a lot of change, you know, since I've started coming to Fosdom. Magic Rubens is gone. Um, Astrid is being remodeled, the hotel we stayed at in the first few years. So there's a lot of change. So we've had that as a project, and I'd just like to thank you all for coming. And we should be able to get started.